This is a SOLIDWORKS tutorial showing FEA simulation by using a frame from the SOLIDWORKS SAE tutorial. The video will cover the setup and running of a beam analysis as well as the post-processing of these results. One of the many ways to view the results of this study can be seen here. It shows the displacement due to the loading on the frame. The first step in this analysis is to open up the file being used. It is generally a good idea to create a new configuration by selecting the Configuration tab then right clicking the part. New configuration can be selected and then named. For this analysis the focus is on the main frame so the tabs as well as the engine mount folders can be suppressed. Because the suspension has not been included in this analysis there needs to be supports for the forces that will later be applied. This model already has them in a suppressed folder, which can be now unsuppressed. Now the simulation study can be started by first going under Tools, then Add-ins, and selecting SOLIDWORKS Simulation. A new study can be created under the Study Advisor drop-down. Select Static for the type and give a name to the study. Under Folders in the Simulation tree, elements can be selected to be treated as beams or to be treated as solids, depending on the analysis. For this case, all elements are considered beams. The rigid structure that was added in needs to be defined as a truss because it only needs to resist axial loading. This can be done by clicking one of the members and right-clicking it on the simulation study tree and selecting Edit Definition. The type can then be switched to truss. This needs to be repeated for all eight members. Material needs to be applied to all of the bodies by right-clicking the frame folder and selecting Apply Material to All Bodies. Once the material is applied, the joints of the frame can be looked at. By right-clicking the folder called Joint Group and selecting Edit, all the joints of the frame are displayed. A joint can be edited by right-clicking that joint. This will show all members that meet up at that one point. The joints can then be recalculated if necessary. By right-clicking Fixtures and selecting Fixed Geometry, the rear of the frame can be fixed. All eight joints need to be selected. Once that is done, the two forces can be added to the frame. Right-click the External Loads and select Force. Select Joints under Selection and choose the joint on the end of the truss member. Use the front plane as a reference and then add the force, which in this case is 169.7 newtons normal to the plane. Repeat for the opposite side, but change the direction so that the force is going in the opposite direction. The study can now be meshed by right-clicking Mesh and selecting Create Mesh. Once created, the study can then be run. Once the study has been run, the stress is displayed. A new displacement plot can be added in by right-clicking the Results folder and selecting Define Displacement Plot. The plot created here is for the displacement in the Y direction and it uses an axis for reference. The result is a plot that is in cylindrical coordinate which can be seen by the coordinate system in the cylinder at the bottom right of the screen. The probe tool can be used to find what the force is on the end of the truss. To view the shear and bending diagrams, Right-click the Results folder and select Define Beam Diagrams. Select the moment in Direction 1 and choose a beam on the front of the plane. This will show the moment diagram on that beam. If the forces for all the beams are desired, a list of them can be generated by right-clicking the Results folder again and selecting List Beam Forces. There are many other ways to view the results generated by this analysis.